Hi, my name is Glenn Harper. I'm one of the neurosurgeons at Advanced Pain Care. We're here today to do a walk with the doc. Well, normally we'd do a walk in person. We'd get to walk together and I'd get to know you. You'd be able to ask some questions, but with the pandemic going on, we can't quite do that. And so we're gonna do a virtual walk today. Uh, you know, there's a lot been said in, in these videos and other resources about the benefits of mobility and having an active lifestyle. And so uh, we could cover some of those, certainly as a neurosurgeon, yeah, specializing in spine, I see lots of benefits to pain care, as well as uh, mood concentration, better sleep, all kinds of great benefits. But you know, sometimes it's important to make it a part of your lifestyle, to make it a practice. And so today we're gonna talk about how do you do that? So why don't you put on a pair of shoes, pause it for a minute, and then come with me and let's go for a walk. So how do you make activity part of your practice every day? Well, I know that we all have a really busy lifestyle and lots of stuff to do. So I'm gonna give you a, one way to think about a tactic on making this happen. And we're gonna do that by talking about four Ps. The first P we're gonna talk about is priority. You have to make it a priority. You can watch lots of other videos as we talked about earlier that will discuss the benefits of walking, the benefits to your health. And so once you've decided that you wanna be a part of that and have that as part of your lifestyle, then you've got to make that a priority for your everyday life. Well, the second P is to have a plan. And having a plan means a couple of different things. One is that you want to do things like maybe draw a route of where you're going to walk, or maybe have a time that you're going to walk, a number of steps, something like that. And an important part of having a plan is to have an achievable goal. Remember, you're not in a competition, so make sure the goal is something you can really achieve because you're gonna become more active. The third P is to have a pen. Now that really stands for using something to journal. And you may not use an actual pen, it could be your smart device, but in some way you have to journal what you did. It may be something as simple as a check mark next to your plan or something more complex like laying out your emotions. How did you feel that day before the walk and after? Something you can review later and see how you did. And the final P is having a partner. This is really about accountability. And so certainly it's more fun if you have somebody who can be mobile with you, who can maybe take a walk with you, a friend or family member. But if you don't have somebody who can walk with you, at least have somebody you can report back to, somebody who can make sure that you're really doing it. That's probably the, the biggest key to making activity a part of your lifestyle. Well, that's about it. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Walk with the Doc. Remember to put the four Ps into practice and make activity a part of your lifestyle. This is Glenn Harper with Advanced Pain Care. The pain stops here.